Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at how the Yakima Outpost HD truck bed ladder rack sits on our 2023 GMC Sierra 3500. This is going to be a fixed ladder rack system where you don't really get much height but you get a lot of stability and you still have extra cargo space. So good if you want to open up your truck bed for other items, you want something that works with your toolbox, but you also need to carry around maybe a kayak, ladders, or a truck bed tent. This year, 3500 has the 8-foot bed, so you could definitely get away with a lower fixed rack system like this. If you have the shorter bed with the toolbox, you might want to go over the cab. In that case, definitely check out the Yakima Overhaul HD instead. This is going to focus on how it works with this truck. If you want a full depth look at the ladder rack itself, check out our full review here at eTrailer.com. Measuring from the top of the truck bed to the top of our ladder rack, this sits about 13 and a quarter inches above our bed. So for the space inside of the truck bed, that's going to be about 33 inches to the bottom of the crossbar. That's how much space you have here in the truck bed for your larger items or cargo. Maybe you're carrying around a kayak down here and a rooftop tent up top or put the kayaks on top. It's up to you. This is how much space you have. The outpost is great for a fixed and durable ladder rack. This is made of aluminum. You do have this sleek powder coat finish as well. You also have some really good welds and shapes here. In fact, if you want, you can take off the uprights as well as the crossbar and leave behind the bases if you need full access to your truck bed. It's a very quick and easy process. We'll take a look at that later in our installation. You also have anchor points and a bottle opener, which is very signature Yakima at the back of your uprights. This can be used for your straps, your ratchet straps, your hooks. These holes over here are for your accessory bar. So if you want a bar that goes across, you can add that. That's where you can put your recovery boards, your rotopacks, things like that. We have some security features here, like these locks that go onto the bases. And you get two keys as well as two locks. If you have other Yakima accessories, you can actually get these switched out with your same key system. Yet from Yakima, you have to get multiple lock cores so that they can all be keyed alike. So what can you carry with this? Well, you have your large HD crossbars with a weight capacity of 500 pounds regular use. If you're taking this off-roading though, that goes down to 300 pounds. And that's dynamic rate, weight capacity, meaning as you drive around, what's the weight of what you're carrying? Once you're parked though, that changes. That's why for truck bed tents, it's perfectly fine to sleep up there on top of the ladder rack. Another reason why you might prefer shorter crossbars or shorter uprights like these is to make it easier to reach as well. Since this is already a really tall truck, if you had tall crossbars too, someone my height would have a lot of difficulties. Also notice at the end of the crossbars how you have anchor points for more straps. And with this being a bit shorter too, that way if you do need to get up and into your truck bed or to reach your cargo to load things up, it's slightly more accessible. Everything is included with this kit. That's why it's very important to make sure you use our fit guide here at eTrailer. So put in your year make model, in our case, the 2023 GMC Sierra 3500, and then you get the kit with the uprights, the proper clamping system, and you get the correct length of crossbars. We have the 68 inch long crossbars, although you probably could use the 78 inch long ones as well if you need more overhang. With that in mind, if you have a tonneau cover, there's also a tonneau cover adapter available to you. This kit also gives you specific tools. So some of them have special security Allen wrenches on the end, which means that they can't just use any Allen wrench, you have to use the Yakima ones to install or uninstall it. Now it's a very simple process. The only thing I recommend grabbing for yourself is a tape measure just to make sure everything is super lined up. Let's take a look at that process. I already have the front crossbar installed and we are going to install the rear crossbar together. And we are going to start with the bases, then we will go to the uprights and then the crossbars. 
The base is flush against your truck bed sides. You then drop this rectangular plate and this bolt in through from the top. Then get your J-shaped bracket and this is going to go underneath your truck bed. So feel around for obstructions and then get it lined up with the bolt that is holding your base together. And then you're going to hand tighten them down for now. Now use your large hex tool included with your kit to tighten down these larger bolts. With that secure, then loosen this center bolt. That way this is a little open because then you're going to put your uprights into that base. Notice the angle of our uprights. We want the longer space in the center and the upright towards the outside. You're then going to use the appropriate tool to tighten down that base. Your bases will have a slightly different end for two of them, and that's because these are designed to be used with the lock. The lock fits over that bolt, and then you turn the key to lock it. Usually you install this on the driver's side or diagonally, like one back passenger and the other front driver. You then place your crossbar onto your uprights. You need to prep your crossbars by using the small Allen key to take out the little bolt on the inside. Once that bolt is out, you can then take off the end cap and then we have these two plates. So slide them in through. One goes to the far other end. Then put that end cap back in and secure with that little bolt. There will be some numbers underneath your bar and that will help you line it up, meaning getting an equal amount of length on each side so you know it's centered. There's also that little plate that you slid through. Well, that you need to get lined up with your tower as well. And the tool I use is the little Allen wrench that was included with your kit that helps get that corner up there. You have your bolts and you're gonna use a split washer and then a flat washer on top of your bolt. Then you're going to use the medium Allen wrench to secure it to that metal plate. Don't do it too tight because you need to do both of them. And this one in the back can get a little tricky. Once you've tightened down all eight bolts, so two, four, six, eight, then just double check your crossbars, make sure everything's secure, and that's it for the install. So some thoughts about this ladder rack system is I also installed the Yakima Overhaul HD, which is the adjustable height. And there really are certain situations where you might prefer one over the other. If you're carrying around longer items or you have that shorter bed, definitely go with a taller ladder rack. In other cases, if you want something that's easier to reach, maybe you're hauling heavy items and you have a longer bed, then this is going to be a great option for you. You don't have to worry about making adjustments. You just put this on, take this off real quick, and you're good to go. So if this ladder rack interested you, or maybe you're interested in other ladder racks as well, we have a bunch of them here in e-trailer for your truck. Check out our product pages, descriptions, and full review videos to compare and get the best fit for you. But this right here right now was a look at the Yakima Outpost HD truck bed ladder rack system with a 68 inch long HD crossbars and we saw it on the 2023 GMC Sierra 3500.